not. It's, it's soda. soda. It's soda. Guys, you can think fully. It smells like Tylenol. Bro, this is legit space color. It's Fanta. <laughs> wait, no, I know. It's literally Fanta. Wait, can we taste it yet? Strawberry Fanta, I'm guessing. No, wait, wait are we, can we taste it? Yeah. Yeah, strawberry. No, it's either Coke or Fanta. It's Fanta. It's Coke. This is Fanta. Mm, nah, nah, I think it's, it's strawberry. Orange Fanta, Orange Fanta. I don't know. I think it's Orange Fanta is not exotic. Or, orange Fanta is original. I, I, I think I think I'm guessing. I think it's vanilla Coke. I'm guessing. I think it might actually be like orange Sprite. Orange Sprite. Oh, oh actually, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's that's my guess, okay. and I'll give this a rating of. Well, I'll oh, give it a rating of 10 out of 10, but because I just recently had that wasabi thing in my mouth, <laughs> it doesn't taste that's, as well. That's why it's called water. It's I drink water. a whole bottle of water. Whoa, right? it's not from the spite. It, it, okay, no, yeah. it it tastes, like the aftertaste, it leaves kind of like a spicy flavor. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it true. does, it does. Okay, so, but, maybe it's so I'll, give this, I'll give it a solid rating of 8 out of 10. Okay, so for me, I can... I can see what Sasha's saying, orange uh, soda, I mean orange Sprite, but like, yeah. this actually might be like, yeah, I think it's strawberry phantom, because like, I, I can feel- It's orange. <laughs> I know, but like, it just tastes like that, it just tastes like that. And like, it does leave like this like, kind of spicy feeling in your throat, so I wouldn't eat too much of it, drink too much of it. <laughs> and yeah, I would give this an 8 out of 10, because I wouldn't drink on, like, and drink every, you know. Okay, I would give it a drink like water. six out of ten. It does, it doesn't taste bad, but the aftertaste is like mm. just nah. I would not drink that again. This is like a, a twenty out of uh, ten because this is so good. Uh, it it it's, I I can see that Sasha and Christian are saying it's like a little spicy, uh, and the aftertaste, but it's like it's too good. I think it's orange coat. This is actually Mountain Dew Flaming Hot Edition. Oh, oh. What? no, that's a thing. You knew it was spicy. No, I mean, spicy. I've heard of it before. I've heard of this. But yeah, no one goes. How is it flaming though? It's yeah. nice. And right. it's not, no, I mean like you can't literally... really make a drink spicy. It's only in the aggregation. <laughs> that, that is so true. Oh. Mountain Dew. Okay, this is lit. Okay, mm. it says you've seen the experiment. <laughs> okay, it, it says Mountain Dew Flaming Hot. And it's like you, hot Cheetos? No. It's <laughs> due with a blast of heat and citrus flavor with other natural Oh, it's citrus. I told Wait, you. No, where's it from? It's citrus. I have no idea. From experiments. No wonder it tastes like orange. What well, is it like 44 grams of added sugar? <laughs> oh, oh. I, I, oh, I, 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 I put some the, water into my the ingredients. Thing. <laughs> yeah, what are the ingredients? High fructose. Okay, yeah, I'm they gonna, have a lot of I'm, citrus. I, I think wanna, that's mostly I'm not doing anything. I would never drink that again. Okay, so this is pretty cool. I didn't know that. I would, I system. would, I would not drink that because I feel like that's gonna mess you up somehow. Well, that's that's this isn't coffee. okay. Ready, guys? This is this tastes smell like coffee. It does. Okay. Taste? It's so good. Dude. It's hot, co- boy. This is so good. I could drink this. Oh. This is lit, dude. I, I think. Know. I think. I think it's some kind of like vanilla star fruit. Starbucks like vanilla cappuccino or like frappuccino. Wait, or I, I, no, no. It's, not oh, exo- it's not exotic though, but you can buy them anywhere. Yeah, is it, then it yeah I, I know, but I think it's some kind of like but some kind of like coffee. I would give this a rating of two out of ten because I don't recommend coffee. Coffee yeah, is a drug. I so <laughs> this does taste like some Starbucks drink, you know, like. Probably like a vanilla something, you know, vanilla coffee. Probably, it's very sweet. It's very strong. The smell. Um, I would give this like a nine or ten. I would drink this. And yeah, ten. Ten out of ten. Um, I already drank this. Kind of tastes like cold hot chocolate. Not gonna lie, <laughs> but yeah. This is the best drink I've ever tasted in my eleven years of being alive. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh we're just saying like that other one was your best drink. Oh, no, no. Okay. This, this is this is coffee. Oh, uh, it's probably coffee. And this, I think it's uh, either like vanilla or, or oh, chocolate yes, or something yeah. like that. It's so good. The drink is called Ding Dong's Ice <laughs> <laughs> Ding Dong. Oh, wait. It's a company that it's made, um, uh, Twinkies. Yeah, Twinkies. Sheesh. No. Wait, no. so it is coffee? It's 
Chocolate and vanilla coffee. I need this. I need this. I need this. I need this. I'm actually gonna try some. I need this. I need this. I need this. I need this. Because it's by the company that made Twinkies. No, no, no. Isn't the company that made Twinkies? Um, Hostess host, Cake. Yeah, oh, yeah, Hostess. Yeah. But, like, Ding Dong sounds super familiar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this is, like, probably the best thing we had so yeah. far. No, that's Cap. No, that's Cap. I like the fried squid more. <laughs> Fried squid. Ew. Okay, this that is, was disgusting. This is a, this is a guy in a cap. This is a successful. So <laughs> this is kind of like a wild card candy. And it's like from, uh, it's like an Asian candy. So um, we don't need the blindfold for this one. And this is just like something for fun. So it's called a Juicy Drop Gummies. Mm, juicy Drop. And <laughs> Chewy Gummies and Sour Gel. So sour well, gel. apparently sour you put gel. like, yeah, it's like watermelon flavor. And you put like with this pen on the gummies, you put like some uh, watermelon liquid. Oh yeah, I'm so down. let's get into it. So here, I'll let's show it. I'll, I'll show it on mine first. Okay? Give me the and pen. You, you can do it. You can give pen. me the pen. Wait, you, wait, you just like, like squirt the liquid see, inside. Yeah, see, see. It looks kind of like an epi pen. Oh my god, yeah. you're so smart, bro. Then you go like. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. Put that's it in cool. the hole. Look, put it okay. in the hole. Hey, yeah. <laughs> so put it in the hole, guys. <laughs> I'm not dumb. That's yeah. what you're supposed to do. It. So yep, that's like the gel. No, yes you. No. Yes you do. See, you put it in yeah. the hole. Okay, okay. Okay, so. It's wonderful CGI. Should I taste it first? Okay, let me taste it first. Oh my, what is this? It's sweet. Ew. Sure it's it's sour, it's sour, it's sour. Sour is good. I'm gonna I'm have a lot of this stuff. Okay. It tastes like so much like watermelon. Give me next. It's sour. Is this to me. Watermelon's sour. That tastes so good. Bro, you just said I you love it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just said. Okay, no, no, oh, um. I'm gonna give this a solid 10 out of 10. It tastes kind of like the baby pops or whatever you call them that you buy at the store. Baby like this, pops? Yeah, you don't know them? You drop like, babies? No, you, it's like a... Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know it's like you yeah. open it and you eat it. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. And it also, it, it tastes like a lot of just like sour candy that you'd find in like a Target or like a Walmart. Um, But I like the fact that it's... One thing is sour and it's just separated. So if you just wanted to have the sour or if you just wanted to have the sweet stuff, you could do that and you didn't really have to just, you know, put them together and just deal with it. So I would give this a 10 out of 10. Um, The company that made them did a really good job with it. Yeah. Bazooka candy brand. So um, it's like... It's it's like a very fun candy, you know. It reminds me of Sour Patch Kids. Uh, Sour Patch Kids. Like yeah. When you put the it in. The watermelon one. Yeah. It, like when you put it in, it's sour and then it turns sweet. So that's cool. And I like the fact that you can like put how much you want of the sour liquid. And yeah, I give this like a like ten out of ten. Like probably pretty good. It's really good. Um, I would give it like a two out of ten. I wouldn't have it again. And I hate watermelon candy. So yeah. <laughs> um, I um, I usually don't like uh watermelon candy, but this changed my mind because it's sweet or it could be sour. So I think this this is like a eight out of ten. I would have it any day. Alright. Okay. Oh yeah, this is like sweet. It's probably chocolate. Yeah, it's, I, it's probably dark chocolate. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, it's, it's definitely so chocolate. Good, yeah. It's so good. Can I take it out time? No, yeah. no questions asked. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Bro, it looks so good. What this is, is the same company as the one that made the strawberries, probably. Wait, what is it, though? Oh, there's caramel in the middle. Oh. Yo, that's so good. Oh, guys, take off your bottle. Wait, what is it? Nestle Crunch. Wait, wait, wait. Thoughts, remember thoughts? Mm. But what are you talking? Hmm. So a ten out of ten. Good snack. Um, I wouldn't eat too much of it because you want to get like refund. No, I, I just don't really like caramel that much. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Um, tastes good. There's no aftertaste, and it's just a good snack in general. Ten out of ten. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, I also give a 10 out of 10. So I like the like the softness in the middle, like from the caramel, and the, the crunchiness from this like crispy wafer thingy, Majik. 
And when you eat it all together, it's like, it's like heavenly, bro. it's so good. That's good. Ready? 10 out of 10. Um, this thing was like amazing. I tasted some chocolate and also some caramel and it and like the outside had like a fortune cookie type texture and the inside was like hard chocolate. It's easy 11 out of 10. They're called Mars Pods and they're from Australia. No. Oh! Australian. Wait. Delicious. Is it, wait, is it, is it like a Mars bar but in like a pod form? Oh, wow. Deliciously rich Mars caramel cradled into a crispy baked wafer topped off with creamy milk chocolate. Wait, so let's go on with the next thing. Please. Oh, Takis! Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah these, these are Takis. Oh, my. Wait, 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 wait. It doesn't smell like normal Takis. It smells like the pepper. Yes. Yeah. This is Takis. This yeah. is Takis. Oh. It's, I, I, think it's, I think it's like Buffalo Ranch Takis. It's not that spicy. Yeah. Mm. Um, it tastes good. Yeah. I'll give this a rating of 7 out of 10. Um, I love the crunchiness and I know this is Takis because I've had Takis before. Like if you said, probably Buffalo yeah. or something, you know. And um, it's like, yeah, I, I, I would believe it. It would be like um, a pepper because yeah, it has like a little burn at the end, but not like a serious burn. It's just like, you know, a little, you know. Is it worse than the spice salad? Though? It's not worse than that, but like, this is like, um, um, pretty good. So, yeah. Um, um, you know, gaming is intense, but Takis are seriously <laughs> intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is, this is some variation of Buffalo Ranch, yeah. 7 out of 10. Okay. So, yeah. Let's see what it is. Okay, if it's so not Takis. You guys are at this Takis. This is a uh, sweet chili dragon Takis what? from Canada. Sweet chili. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, the Indians can get no spice? So, like, bro, look chili. at the graphics. Yo, like, oh, this chili pickle. Hey. Canadians can handle spice? It, and it says intense. Wait, it's all of you? Yeah. No. Oh, bro, bro, bro. Look, at, look at the graphics, though. It's actually insane. RGB. Bro, this is a. Yeah, oh, my God. That looks so sick. And it's like a dragon sweet Wait, chili. Yeah. I knew, I knew. How, how come the bag is different? Because it's, it's Canadian. Uh, it's, it's wide. Wait, it is Canada. Canada. Wait, did you eat any before? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why is it this red? It is. Oh, it's double. That's why. Because it's double oh, chip. Oh, it's double wrap. So oh. you can see um, inside of it, it's actually Wait, two on. things. I think the inside is like normal flavor to like to like like balance it out from the actual spicy part. I see it's two things in there. So we are done with this uh, with this, and overall we had like so many different exotic um, exotic foods. And let's see like our overall reviews, and we can say like our least favorite and our most favorite. So let's start with Sasha. Um. So clearly, what they're saying is wrong. Their opinions. Uh, his opinion is not good because he does not know what food is. Uh, he has a personal chef, of course. Um, my least favorite was definitely the wasabi. I did not like it because I don't like wasabi. But my favorite out of all of them, I have to say, was the sour watermelon one. My least favorite... Right here, bro. What is this? What is that? Like, nah, you're you're cabin. I am cabin. Okay, I'm cabin. No, no. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that was the Lay's uh Moxie Take. I I hated that. And my favorite was the Takis, like extremely. Okay. <laughs> what 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 was it? A chili piquanti do dragon sweet chili. Anyone knew Canadians could speak Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um it this uh Takis is also tied with um the the Mountain Dew Flippin' Hot. I just like the like how rare it is. Like, um, I just like something you wouldn't drink every day. And yup. And I had, I personally had a really fun time too. And yup, that's basically it. Um, my least favorite was the uh, uh, Krispy Kreme cereal things. They were trash. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I would never have them again. And my favorite is. Close tie between like the Takis and the um, the grilled squid. No. 
I think the grilled squid my, was my favorite. Okay. That's cap. So my two my two least favorite ones were the were the um the roasted squid one. Oh, uh, and the and the wasabi. Those two two were disgusting. Did you not like this one as well? Yeah, I didn't like that one either. Okay, yeah. this one as well. He didn't like any of these. Yeah, I didn't like any of the ways. Oh, You're okay. such a pink flavor. But my favorite ones are the, the Mars pods and the coffee. The one that had 300 calories and had <laughs> Yeah. And the one that had like that. So, and none of this would have been possible without Sri Krishna. So go subscribe to his channel, Sri Krishna Explorers. It just hit 21K. 20? What? 21K. 21K, yeah. But so. we made this video a little bit late. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of did. Okay. So, thank you all for coming. If this hits 200, if this, if this channel gets 200 more subscribers in, 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 in no, 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 200 more subscribers in the next 24 hours, I'll jump in the pool like fully clothed in my pool at my house. I'll just I'll jump in the fully clothed and I'll like record send it. Send the video to me. Yeah, I'll record it and send it to you. I'll post it on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. And I hope you enjoyed this. This is the white monkey coming out. <laughs> Yes, and see you guys later. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>